Hey gang, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. Much appreciated you guys uh, checking the video out and subscribing to the channel. Today guys, got a good video for you. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish a topwater frog, which is one of the best uh, bass fishing lures that you can use. And it's really easy for beginners to use also. Um, also, I just wanna remind you guys, if you all are interested, I've been talking about a lot of baits here. If you guys are interested in a good place to find them, um, I work part of the, what I do on the channel. I work through Baitworks here in Springfield, Missouri. They have a great online store. I'll include their link in the description and you guys can check out uh, their full line of tackle there if you're looking for tackle. Much appreciated, guys. Okay, topwater frogs, guys. These, these things have been around forever, man. I remember when I was just a little kid thumbing through fishing magazines, there was, there was pictures of guys fishing rubber frogs around lily pads in Florida. Um, so they've been around forever, and they're still as effective today as they've ever been. But the only difference is, is between the frogs back then and the frogs now is you've got a more diversity of different types of frogs, different color patterns, different styles. Um, you've got some frogs that are designed to be, you know, just like chugged in one spot. And then some frogs like this, actually, you throw them out there and you jerk them and you, you walk them back and forth like this. So initially... When frog fishing started out, and really up until like probably 20, 20 some years ago, about 20 years ago, everybody thought frog fishing was for fishing over matted vegetation, lily pads, hydrilla, just any type of grass. And they were associated for people that only fished lakes that had grass in it, primarily Florida, you know, the Gulf Coast, Gulf Coast state, uh, uh, states down there. But what has happened is with the advent of these walking frogs like this, they became a lure category that expanded into other type of cover. So one of the top areas to fish a frog in anymore is around any type of shallow cover on the bank, especially if there's shade on there. So say, for example, if you're fishing a pond or, you know, river or whatever lake that you fish and you see some, maybe some overhanging trees that are, that are thrown off shade into the water, this is a great place to throw that frog up there and work it in those shade. What happens is a lot of times, especially in the summer, and that's another thing, a frog is a really good summer lure, the bluegill and the perch will spawn pretty much all summer long, and they stay shallow. When a bluegill spawns, they're usually in three foot of water or less, and one of the favorite places that bluegill like to spawn is in the shade of overhanging trees, especially if you have any type of cover around there. And this is an ideal place to throw a frog up there. So the thing you want to do is you throw it up there and just work it with short twitches of your rod tip. And you just, just twitch your rod tip just like that once it hits the water. And it'll make this frog go back and forth like that. Now, some of the frogs, I don't have one with me here, they have a concave nose and they're called popping frogs. And they're not designed to walk like that. They're really designed to chug through the water and like splash up water around the head those can be good too, but I really prefer the walking frogs here. Um, color patterns, there's a lot of different color patterns out there. This is sort of like a, a frog pattern here. I like, you know, something like that. White or black is also good. I don't really get too, you know, keyed in on the colors. I think it's just the presentation more than anything else. But anyway, when you're rocking a frog, guys, just try to experiment with the speed. Sometimes they want it real slow like that, and then you let it just stop and set still and then just twitch it a couple more times and they'll hit it. And sometimes they want it fast, like it's trying to get away from them. But frog is a, a great topwater lure. I consider it uh, primarily a summer lure, um, shallow water summer lure. Um, the things that you want to fish it on too is your equipment is real critical. I use, usually, I use 50 pound test braided line most of the time. And you want to use braided line on a frog because the fish can't see the braid and um, there's a lot of plastic that gets in the way of the hook. So the braid with no stretch gives you a lot more power to actually penetrate that, especially if you're fishing it over matted vegetation. And usually something like a seven foot medium heavy action bait casting rod. You need some pretty powerful equipment to fish with it. So anyway, guys, that's just the basics of frog fishing. There's a lot more details on it. I've done some other videos on my main channel and two of angling. But that'll sort of give you a, a, a understanding of, of when you, when you want to use frogs and and their and their applications. So, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll talk later. See you.